well now we are understanding about machine learning in depth but what exactly learning means what are we talking about that machine learns how we can teach something to a machine so let's understand this concept in great depth that what is learning so a machine is said to be learning from past experience with respect to some class of task if its performance in a given task improves with the experience what i mean to say is that a machine is said to be learning suppose if we are feeding a task to a machine and it's keep on improving its performance then we say that yes a machine is learning in case of us human beings for example if we are understanding that how to add two numbers then if we are adding two numbers initially we'll make some mistakes but gradually with time as we learn the concepts correctly we will make no mistake that means we are learning in the same situation if we are giving a task to a machine and we want it to perform in a certain manner and with time or by continuous practice it keep on improving its performance then we'll say that yes this machine is learning now what type of learnings we have in this domain so we have supervised learning unsupervised learning semi supervised learning and reinforcement learning so we'll understand all these types in details so supervised learning supervised learning is a kind of learning when we feed on the machine with data sets which are already labeled right so in case of supervised learning we give our models a data set in which we have a labeled data set that means we give both question and answer pairs to our machine learning model and it learns by it so labeled data set is one in which we have both output and input okay so based on the data set we have this learning is divided into two types one is classification and other one is regression okay so in case of classification we have defined labels that means the data set we have is a discrete data set i'll show you with an example and in case of regression we have a continuous data in a fixed range what i mean to say is suppose these are the two data sets we have in case of supervised learning so this is for classification and this is for regression so first let's understand why we call this data set as labeled data set so this is we are given an employee data set so this is employee id gender age and salary and we are predicting that whether the employee will purchase a particular item or not so we have to predict whether the employee is purchasing or not based on these parameters we are given so while training we have both input and output these that's input and that's the output now in second so this is one data set okay and this is second data set where we have temperature pressure relative humidity wind direction and we have to predict the wind speed so based on these parameters we are predicting the wind speed okay so we have in this case also the input as well as the output so that's why this data set is known as a labeled data set now what is the difference between classification and regression in case of classification you can see that we have fixed labels with us that is either 0 or 1 so that means this is discrete okay so this is discrete why discrete because we have only two labels either we'll be having 0 or 1 or if in case we have five labels so let's say 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so if we have these six labels with us then we can say that the output will be only from these six labels so that means we have discrete labels but in case of wind speed you can see that 
these entries are not fixed these are not fixed labels these are in the range of 0 to 5 but in this range it can be any value it can be either 3.3 it can be either 3.13 it can be either 3.132 so all these output are different so that's why we say that these are continuous so in case of classification the data set we have is a discrete data set but in case of regression we have a continuous form of data okay the output we are given is in continuous form that's why we we have two different types of learning one is classification other one is regression but both are supervised as we are given the labels the second type of learning we have is unsupervised learning why it is called as unsupervised because because it is opposite to supervised learning in this case we don't have any labels to our machine learning models we only feed our models with the labels and now you must be thinking that now how we can train our machine learning models well don't worry about it you will be understanding this concept when we'll move up further in our lecture okay in next modules you will be learning about both types of learning don't worry just understand the basic concept so in case of unsupervised learning you don't have labels so for example in this case we are given customer id gender age annual income and spending score and we have to predict something we don't know what we have to predict so there is no label with us we are given only the input so using this input we group these customers to different clusters okay so we'll say that suppose some of them will belong to type a some of them will belong to type b but what intuition we are making from this type a or type b we don't know we can say that we are separating our models that if they buy or not or if they are good customers or if they are bad customers so this prediction label is unknown right so in supervised learning we learn from the inputs only we don't have specified labels in our data and you based on this data and the approach we use we have two types of unsupervised learning one is clustering and other one is association so what is clustering in case of clustering we group our data based on different patterns here we don't have any parameter value but what we do is we group our data set into different clusters based on the parameter patterns they follow and in case of association we combine our data sets and then we find out a certain pattern where we can split our data to different clusters so for example in shopping store use algorithms based on this technique to find out relationships between the sales of one product with respect to the other sales based on the customer behavior well this same case study we have prepared a project over it in this course so don't worry as you'll move further in this course you'll get hands-on over this technique also so the next technique we have is semi-supervised learning in this case we have a data set in which some of it is labeled and the rest of the major portion is unlabeled so we have a mixture of both labeled and unlabeled data set with us and what we do is suppose this is our data where we have both labeled plus unlabeled data set so for this unlabeled data set we apply unsupervised learning technique okay so using this unsupervised technique what we do is we predict these labels and after predicting these labels the data set now we have is all labeled and on this labeled data set we finally apply supervised learning technique okay so that's why this technique is known as semi supervised learning because for some part we apply unsupervised technique and the remaining we apply supervised supervised learning technique and the major use of this technique is in case of image data sets because this data set is so wide 
and so raw that in some cases we have label for our images and in some we don't have any label so we apply semi supervised learning technique to predict the results in such kind of data set so first part we apply unsupervised then we convert our entire data to a label form then this label data set is used for supervised learning technique now the last learning that we are understanding is reinforcement learning so what exactly reinforcement learning is so this is a very basic image to understand reinforcement technique what happens is basically the models keep or model keeps on increasing its performance using a reward feedback to learn the behavior or pattern okay so basically you can take an example of google self driving car or alpha go where the the bots that we were using competes with human and even itself to getting better and better performer of the game okay so in case of both self driving car and alpha go we are feeding up the model with some test cases and the model is competing with itself so what we are doing is we are feeding some some situations or case study to our model okay and the model is performing some task and this task if it is right then we are rewar rewarding our model and based on this reward the model will learn this case so what is happening is we are giving the input the agent will perform action and after performance if the agent receives the award then according to the reward the agent will either use that means either reinforce this learning and will improve itself so the model will learn by itself it will compete with itself also and with the other parameters also right so these are all the four types of learning that we have supervised learning where we have all the labeled data set unsupervised learning where we have unlabeled data set supervised learning data set where we used unsupervised learning to make some of the data set which is unlabeled to a label form then we apply the supervised learning technique and in case of reinforcement learning our model is competing with itself as well as with the human behavior or the test cases we are giving and increasing its performance and if it's performing correctly then it's feeding back this test case as a reward to itself and is self improvising itself so the more you train your model or the more you use your model in case of reinforcement learning the better your model will understand the best example is google self driving car and the alpha go game right so this was all about this lecture thank you for watching this video keep following and best of luck